Hey, boilers. I'm Juan Debadu. In a way, I'm a third-generation boilermaker. My grandfather, Larry Carnino, was a professor in the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and my father and mother both went to Purdue. In fact, that's where they met. I remember my grandfather talking about the Distinguished Engineering Alumnus Awards, and I saw my father receive the award in the year 2000, so I know just how prestigious and how special this award is, which is why I find myself deeply honored, humbled, and grateful to the College of Engineering for this recognition. I'd say I was pretty much destined to go to Purdue, not just because my grandfather taught there or because my parents studied there. I was always drawn to Purdue because legends were forged there. My grandfather shared stories of some of the students who went through the school when he was there. Purdue astronauts such as Roger Chaffee, Gus Grissom, Neil Armstrong, the heroes of the golden age of space, who shaped my ambition at a very early age. When I came to Purdue in 1990 as a wide-eyed freshman intent on becoming an astronaut, it was my grandfather, of all people, who talked me into going through the School of Mechanical Engineering, assuring me that I could be an astronaut with a mechanical engineering degree just as much as I could with a degree from the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics. He probably knew at the time what I didn't, that something could catch my interest and could take me down a different path. And he was right. I got impassioned by controls and dynamic systems and ended up taking a very different trajectory. But if anything, that just broadened my perception of the legends that have been created at our university, adding many new names and many other disciplines to those that brought me there in the first place. I did also later learn that at six foot five, I would have been too tall for astronaut suits, but I'm pretty sure my friends at Collins Aerospace could have helped me with that. I've been incredibly fortunate to have led a rich and beautiful career thus far. As an engineer, I had a chance to work on programs that pushed the boundaries of technology. For example, early in my career at GE, I had a chance to work on GE's variant of the Joint Strike Fighter engine, which introduced a paradigm shift in the way that aircraft engines were controlled. As a technology leader, I had the gift of timing. You might say that the team I led caught the perfect wave in developing advanced technologies for renewable energy integration and grid modernization just before these areas became popular. Developing technology portfolios for GE that translated into important market differentiation. And as an engineering leader at two incredible companies, GE and Raytheon Technologies, I've had the privilege to drive and shape technology product, and service portfolios for several businesses globally, both organically through the development of innovative products, as well as inorganically through mergers or acquisitions. In my latest role, I'm leading technology strategy for the aerospace segment in Raytheon Technologies, helping to set the stage for how this company is going to create the future with our customers in exciting new spaces such as electrification, autonomy, connectivity, hypersonics, advanced materials, additive manufacturing, and many more. If there is such a thing as a dream assignment, this comes pretty close. While I can proudly call that my career, I can honestly say that the outcomes throughout owe much to so many others. Perhaps what I find myself most proud of is the teams that I have built along the way, which always rose to the occasion to deliver on our targets, but more importantly, have continued to do so after I've moved on. And I would share this award with all of them. I would also share this award back with Purdue because my career was built on a foundation established in the School of Engineering throughout my bachelor's, master's, and PhD degrees, all of which, by the way, I pursued at Purdue. What I have most relied on from those degrees is the system engineering strengths that I built, which have allowed me to learn new technical spaces quickly. As I took on new responsibilities or moved between segments such as energy and aerospace, for example, I was able to do so efficiently because I had the advantage of being able to learn through analogy, which is a fundamental skill afforded by systems engineering. I'd be remiss for not calling out the professors at Purdue who inspired me and challenged me throughout the way. Uh, that would certainly include my advisor, Dr. Matt Franchek, as well as many others of whom I'd call out Dr. Anil Bajaj, Dr. Bob Bernhard, Dr. Patricia Davies, Dr. Stuart Bolton, Dr. Martin Corliss, Dr. Jim Braun, Dr. Chuck Krausgrill, Dr. Peter Meckel, Dr. Bin Yao, and Dr. Young Shin, to name a few. Despite being the faculty of one of the top universities in the world, this group of professors was approachable, close, and made a habit of demonstrating over and over again that they truly cared about students. It kind of felt like family. They were the best part of my education. 
And last, but by no means least, I share this with my family. To my father, Juan Ernesto, who put my brother and me through college in the first place, and who had an equal share of the responsibility for driving me down the path of becoming an engineer. That, I think, we might just be the first father-son pair of Distinguished Engineering Alumnus Award winners. To my many Boilermaker cousins, especially Juan Diego, who followed in my footsteps in getting a PhD and loved the university so much he never left. He's working there to this very day. And to his mother, my Aunt Elena, who was also like another mother to me and my brother growing up. To my grandmother, Frances Carnino, who gave me a home away from home so many times and was always there to help me throughout my college days. To my wife, Erica, and my children, Carlos and Josephine, who have selflessly shared my time with a profession that will always try to squeeze more from me. I love you more than anything, and I couldn't do it without you. And finally, to those who aren't here but will always be in my heart, my grandmother, Berta, my grandfather, Larry, and my mother, Carolyn. Let me close by mentioning that at 48, I'm in a terrific place with Raytheon Technologies, and I have plenty of energy and passion. So with the grace of God, I'm hoping the best is yet to come. Count on me for anything I can do for this great university, for the great College of Engineering, and for the great School of Mechanical Engineering. They are all in the best of hands, and I'll be proud to do my part. Thanks again so much for this incredible honor, and of course, uh, boiler up and hail Purdue.